All right. Uh, my name is Tom Curran. Uh, my name is Derek Hoffman. So I was fortunate enough to uh, have Sonny Miller give me a call after the first search um, series and uh, ask me if I wanted to go on this trip around the world to film some surfing. Little did I know it would be probably the best life experience I've ever witnessed. We went on all these trips, we shot hundreds of hours, and then you compile it into like a 40, 50 minute film. So obviously you're putting the best stuff in those films, but then there's a lot of great stuff that no one's ever seen. There's about 30 minutes of just some raw footage from various locations with all the surfers that were, were on that trip. There's, some, there's a lot of great quality footage and uh, a really great bunch of surfers and a really good level surfing and it was great, very inspiring to surf with those guys too. This Bain project really was to um, get the film out digital, um, to honor Sonny, to also honor Tom and surfing so the surf community can uh, you know, be able to enjoy a beautiful film, Searching for Tom Crane. The movie was really was filmed over the previous times that we went, went around with the search with the, the whole team, uh, adding up all of the best footage that we had and then getting that condensed down into the, the very best. Sonny's personality and his way of filming came really through in those films. We got really just fantastic surf. Uh, and then, you know, uh, Sonny's gift at editing and, uh, and, and his enthusiasm for the project is, is what made it, you know, uh, do well back in the day. I got older, I was like, wow, how blessed were we to be on these surf trips, early exploration out into Indonesia. Um, that, that The year before Bawa, um, I believe it was 93, uh, was the first documented surf trip in the Mentawai Islands. Tom, Damien, um, Devo, Frankie, and uh, Brock Little. So at the time, I think it felt really cool to kind of venture into new uncharted water, so to speak, uh, on Martin Daly's original boat uh, before there was air conditioning and cabins. You know, was, and I, not until, I believe, Sonny made the movie, actually, and I, because I, I was there when he was editing it, so I got to see some of it, and I was like, wow, this is really cool, because all the search films before were a compilation of all the trips with all the riders, so this was obviously focused in on, on Tom's best waves, so when that's put together, then then I did realize that, whoa, this is really special. I started traveling with Sonny at that first trip to J Bay, and seeing him at the events and the contest a lot before that. But the first time traveling together was in J Bay, and it was very good, and we had a, a sort of extended time there, kind of living in J Bay and traveling around there. The first introduction I had to Jeffrey's Bay and uh, we timed it. I got there right when the swell was coming up so we got a first good swell and then the sort of some down days and I was able to try a bunch of different boards. So I guess we probably had uh, like three or four good solid swells and then you know, and then we went up north after that, so so we and got more good waves. After that, uh, 93, after J Bay, then we went on a boat up to Mozambique. We left out of Durban in the middle of the night when the swell was up. And I just remember sitting just going, what? We were just like, you know, up and down, up and down. Wake up the next morning and we're sailing along. We sailed for six days in the Mozambique Channel, which is one of the strongest current channels in the world. So I just remember sitting there looking at like some land fixture and then like five hours later realizing we weren't really moving too fast. We waited a long time and then we, the swell came in and then it was perfect setup. So we got to surf great waves um, and it just was nonstop all day, you know, pretty much great fun, perfect waves, and then um, it was a lot, a lot of times it was the first time for these guys to go uh, to, to these places too, so they were just very amped up and, and enjoying it very much. So it's kind of neat to see all these great surfers having a good time in different varying age groups and um, kind of having the trip of their lifetime. Um, for all of us, I mean, it was just, it was phenomenal. I mean.
Yeah. Uh, this board I got from Tommy Peterson. It's uh, it's called the Fireball Fish. It's a three fin, uh, kind of a fish shape, but with a like a short board rocker. Channels. Uh, I think there's maybe four or six channels that stop halfway, three quarters of the way down, with a semicircle going onto a flat through the tail. What sort of V flat through the tail. So I tried it in a couple of the smaller days and it's just like the way it felt. And then um, the one day at Bawa, I tried it because it was such a glassy, smooth day and, uh, and had, you know, I was having fun with that board. You know, a little skittery, but still it had a lot of uh, fun aspects to it for sure. On that Bawa session, I, I have a question and you were in some great ways. I think you were riding that 7-Eleven. Farmer or mm -hmm. and then and then all of a sudden you switched to the fish. What, did you just feel that was a good time to try it out? It wasn't so much. Someone said you didn't have another board to ride, but I don't think that was it. I, I um, no, I did have another board. I had a, uh, what would have been probably more ideal was the seven two, but I let uh, Davo use that one, and then so and then I I had the fish. I kind of wanted to try that anyway, you know. I was trying to remember that. Remember that macaronis? That first time we really got that left, that macaronis. Yeah. Like that wave. I remember just thinking, this is a machine. I mean, as a as a water cameraman, it was like, oh, you just line up right. Just like guys are just coming by you, you know, every yep, wave. You, what one. did you think of macaronis? Yeah, it's a great, perfect uh, reef setup. Just as perfect, you know. It's good. It's a left, you know, but that's okay. <laughs> it's a left. This main reason this is happening is, is really because Sonny's not here. Because I feel if Sonny was here, he would have kind of done something very similar. So the mission for me was to really honor Sonny and, and, and the work he did. Um, obviously, as I was saying earlier, to honor Tom surfing. But I feel like a lot of the current surfers, the current generation, maybe never had a chance to really watch these surf films or more importantly watch Tom um, surfing on different boards and some of the most, you know, best waves in the world.